tensegrity, biotensegrity, and applied biotensegrity. Tensegrity structures are pretty new, and they're really unique. Phil Earnhardt says this is only the second way that humans have ever figured out how to build, and this is after hundreds of thousands of years of human culture. These structures have a oneness that somehow emerges from this duality of struts that resist being pushed and cables that resist being pulled. And what you really have to do is build a tensegrity if you really want to understand these. Once you build one, you can feel it, you can experience it, and you can let its unexpected behaviors surprise you. The Wies Institute at Harvard University says that tensegrity is a fundamental determinant of all living systems at all size scales, and they call it the architecture of life. So, a lot of people are looking at this. It's important to distinguish between tensegrity as a structure and tensegrity the word because people get really confused and it's easy to see why. The structure has, any tensegrity structure has two components, the struts that are under compression and the cables that are under tension. But tensegrity the word also has two components. Those two components are tension and integrity, two different words. And Buckminster Fuller combined them in something called a portmanteau, which is an invention. And so he made up the word. But a tensegrity is not made out of tension and integrity mm -hmm. because those are not building materials. Tensegrities are systems, and the movement that they exhibit is omnidirectional, it's helical, it's unexpected, it's oxetic, and everything moves instantly everywhere. So that's tensegrity. What's biotensegrity? And biotensegrity is the theory of tensegrity architecture in biology. We're talking about all living organisms from viruses to vertebrates, their systems and subsystems. Tensegrity and biotensegrity, these are pure sciences, natural sciences. We're just having the goal of trying to understand what it is we're trying to learn about. We're not trying to do anything other than understand it. So if that's tensegrity and that's biotensegrity, then what is it that's sort of the elephant in the room, as they say? Most of the people who are the early adopters of biotensegrity, um, they may be biotensegrity aware, biotensegrity inspired, but they do have a goal. They're trying to invent something, or they're trying to innovate. Uh, they're trying to develop practical applications. So they are trying to solve problems by understanding biotensegrity. And what we've done is we've started to call this applied biotensegrity. Um, so anybody who's studying biotensegrity with the purpose of trying to uh, improve clinical or practical applications, improve movement practices, therapeutic techniques, anybody who's using it for any kind of problem solving or invention, engineering, this all falls under the category of this biotensegrity inspired uh, applied biotensegrity. But then we also have the category of that which is just biotensegrity inspired. It's not trying to solve any kind of problem. It's just exploring. And uh, for the sake of 
uh, exploration. This would be the sort of artistic ventures that we're seeing. And we've seen everything from volumetric poetry to dance performances, of course, sculptures. So these are our categories. And so when we're trying to figure out and talk about the work we're trying to do. These are the four categories we're using. Of course, you can't apply biotensegrity if you don't study biotensegrity as it is as a pure science. And you can't really study biotensegrity without an understanding of tensegrity. And these things tend to sort of flow uh, back and forth. Uh, these We who study this tend to kind of flow between these different categories of uh, study in order to round out our, um, our work and improve what we're doing. So that's what we've got to share today. And I want to thank you so much. Please come and uh, visit us on YouTube or at the Biotensegrity Archive website. I'm Susan at biotensegrityarchive.org. And please join us on Fridays for our Biotensegrity Tea Parties, which are streamed to YouTube. Thanks.